What's up guys, today on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to solve the issue where your custom firmware PS Vita asks you to upgrade its firmware even though you have the Henkaku settings set to you know the latest spoofed uh, firmware so I'm just going to quickly show you so under my Henkaku settings you know enabled version spoofing is on which uh, makes the PS Vita think that is running the latest version uh, so if I click on spoofed version, as you can see, it's set to the latest custom firmware, or latest firmware, which is 3.73. And we are still getting prompted to uh, upgrade its firmware. So if I do anything online or open a game, as you can see, it asks me to update the system software. Now we're not obviously not going to do that because this potentially might brick the PS Vita. So I'm running 3.60 and also have Enzo installed, which is the permanent custom firmware. Before we get into this, there is a couple things that you do need. So first thing is we need obviously your PS Vita to be modded with first the soft mod of Henkaku, uh, H Encore, and then the custom firmware Enzo. And then we also need Vita Shell. This is to communicate with our PC. And we're going to connect this through FTP. So you also need a program called WinSCP or FileZilla. I use WinSCP just because I'm a bit more familiar with the settings and I find it a little bit faster trans transferring speeds. So we need to connect this to our PC but before that I'm just going to show you my DNS settings so make sure I mean if you've already put a custom firmware on your um, Vita then you most likely have this DNS already set up but if you go under our settings and then click on network Wi-Fi settings, click your Wi-Fi that you are connected with, click on advanced settings, DNS settings, manual, and make sure your primary DNS is set to 212.47.229.76. So we can close off that, we can now go to our PS Vita, and I'm just going to show you where the Thai config file is usually stored. So it's usually in UX0, so we click on X and then there's a folder called Thai. So here is our config text. We don't have any other plugins installed. Um, so this is the default config, so yours should look like this. And we have to edit this, but we're going to do that on the computer instead so we can back out here sometimes it's also located in UR0 click on that and then there's also a tie folder and I think this is like a backup one so we do have some plugins but we're gonna start from fresh so we want to delete any plugins that you have currently because some plugins can conflict with your config file and it causes it to not work properly especially using auto plugins I think it can mess around with the Thai config file which can cause you know a few errors uh, regarding online capability right so we're gonna back out here now if you haven't uh, put custom firmware on your PS Vita or if your PS Vita is just stock um, with official firmware you're looking to um, put a soft mod on like Henkaku or on store permanent custom firmware like Enzo. I'll put a link in the description below to show you some of the tutorials that I have done previously regarding uh, soft modding and modding your PS Vita. Alright so what we need to do first is we need to go onto a website and then reinstall Henkaku and also reset the Thai config file and whatever plugins that you have. So to do that we need to go onto our browser and there is a link which I'll put a link in the description and also annotate uh, the link on the video 
So it's henkaku.xyz slash go and this will load quite quickly and it will load up a molecule uh, link. And what you need to do is when this page loads you need to press R1 as soon as it pops up. And this just uh, deletes you know all the henkaku settings and the tie folders and then reinstalls everything. So let it do its thing. Um, it's now finished, it doesn't take very long. It says uh, Thai Hen has already been started. And now we can press any key to, con to exit. So we'll just do that. And then let's go back onto our Vita shell. There is two files that we do need to uh, place into this Thai folder. But we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that on the computer. So we're going to go and set up the files ready to be transferred on the computer. Before that I'm just going to click on V to show again. So let's go back and then press start and then on select button make sure this is set to FTP and then we press select and then this gives you a link where you can connect your PC to the FTP server and that is the link so we need to copy exactly that so just remember your link yours won't be this but yours will probably be something different so just remember this link here and we can actually leave the screen on just like this this saves you from having to connect to your USB but also we we need to FTP to the Vita anyway because there are some folders where you can't get into when you connect via the USB you can only access the UX0 folder so with FTP we can actually access all of these other folders that are installed internally on the PS Vita so all we need to do now is just press select get that server up and running and now we can go onto our PC there are a few files that you do need uh, to download and transfer onto your Thai folder uh, this one here, so what this does is uh, this makes your PS Vita think that it's running the latest uh, firmware. Uh, this also stops the prompt where it asks you to upgrade your firmware when you're trying to um, access uh, online capabilities and some games as well. I think this works for like you know 3.65 onwards. I'm using 3.60. And this also should replace refood. So these files, you shouldn't need the refood plugin to do that. And this should do exactly the same thing. And we also need reauth. This basically st stops the error where you cannot go onto the PlayStation Store with custom firmware Enzo. <laughs> so using this plugin, you should be able to access the PS Store and download games, purchase games on uh, custom firmware. So right now I'm just going to load up uh, WinCSP and let's just make a new session. So I'm going to keep that as it is, SFTP, hostname. So this was the link on Vita Shell. enter it here obviously your link will be different to mine I'm gonna leave the username and password as blank I'm gonna log in so okay on username okay and password here is the PS Vita folders let's just double check our type folders that's fine and then you are zero now, I've already got some plugins here, so just ignore these. Probably just delete refood. Alright, so let's go back onto our zero syscall six files. So when you have these downloaded, um, just go on reauth and click on download here and then this will open this link here and then click on the zip that's what we need uh, we need to locate our files um, so just copy these two 
onto your tie folder. I recommend putting it in UR0 just because it's the internal storage rather than the UX0 because once you remove your memory card you know things will not work again because it reads off the memory card um, if you put it in the UX0 which we're not going to do we're going to put it in our UR0 folder click on tie and we're just going to drag these files onto here or config file and we do need to enter a command string under our config so this is the command string that you need to copy or you can enter it yourself in this case I'm just going to copy this and add it to our config file under kernel so here's our config text and we've located kernel we're just going to put a line underneath um, like I said you can do it manually you can just enter it yourself If you was going to put it in UX0, then you do need to place these files in the tie folder under UX0 and then change this. So change the location of it. Click on save. So that should just be there now. And I'm just going to place our all files in the same location well actually only one of them needs to be put into our tie folder so go back onto your tie folder and copy the skprx file and then the files that have suprx there should be three of these files. We need to put it into our UR zero data and make a folder called reauth. Um, it says here, do not add these to your tie hen config file. So let's just do that. Just copy these files here. Again, make sure it's the SUPRX and then going to locate let's just back out so you are zero and then data I've actually already made a folder here but that's what you need to do and then just paste these three files into the reauth folder and just like the other file we do need to make a command string so just go back onto your Thai config file And then copy this text like I am writing now. Alright, so we have our firmware spoof file and then reauth to connect to PlayStation Store. We can leave the rest as it is for now. Click save, then exit double click make sure it's saved it looks fine and our files are in the right place and they are looking like just make sure there is no typo errors because one error and the name will not make this work so now we can go back to our PS Vita and make sure everything's running okay. We do need to reboot the PS Vita because we've changed some of these plugins. Alright, so we're back onto our Vita now and because we've reinstalled Henkaku, the settings will be reset. So we just need to change it back. Enable unsafe homebrew is turned on. Make sure enable version spoofing is on and then spoof version. 3.73 so once that's done we should just be able to go on to our friends so that's that's absolutely fine it's not asking me to upgrade the firmware 
so it looks like it's worked. We do need to put the Node DRM plug in because I don't think I'll be able to load any of these games. Right, so I'm just going to quickly install Node DRM under Auto Plugins. Scroll down until you see no NPDRM. I usually pick the official flow one. Okay, and then we do need to reboot our system again. Let's quickly try out a game. So a lot of these were downloaded from the PKGJ program. And there we go, we are not prompted to upgrade the firmware, the, the Henkaku settings for spoofing is working. And our Thai config file is correctly um, assigned. So yeah, there we go guys, uh, that is how you fix the problem with um, your custom firmware Enzo asking you to upgrade to the firmware even though your Henkaku settings is all set to spoofing on that is how you fix it. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you again on another video.